Welcome to 411carline.com. You can find us at 411carline.com. The free Carfax is available on our website. It'll be next to the vehicle. It'll say Carfax Advantage Dealer or Carfax One Owner. It'll be a little icon. Just click on it. It opens up a new window and opens the Carfax for you. 952-540-9000 is our phone number. You can call to ask any questions or to set up an appointment. We are by appointment only, so please do call in advance. We appreciate that. All of our vehicles go through third-party inspections prior to being put online. You're welcome to have it inspected as well. Just ask us about our policy on that. We do whatever the mechanic recommends as far as safety mechanical and after they take it on a road test. Aftermarket warranties are available on all vehicles, no matter the year, make, model, or miles. Just ask us about those, or it'll be stapled to the Carfax when you come in. We have another 4Runner, 2006 model. This one's a V8 Limited. It's pretty fully loaded. Uh, it's got the navigation, backup camera. We'll go all through all that in a little bit here. So I'll go over the overall condition. It's definitely an above average condition for the year and the miles. Um, of course, it's a 2006, so it does have some paint defects. You can see the first one being a little scratch right there, and there's minor scratches here and there on the bumper cover. Uh, hood's pretty clean on this one. Looks pretty good. Some of this is like water. Some of these are water droplets, but um, there's a couple minor, minor chips. But headlights, nice and clear. Very small scratches right in this area. It's pretty common on 4Runners. Someone gets close to something there. It's a limited, so it's got the, uh, what, six spoke wheels. They're super sharp. It's got really good uh, all season tires on it. Actually, they're technically all terrains, but they're more of an all season uh, tread pattern. So, this fender is in pretty good shape. Same with this door. Moonroof looks pretty. Er, moon, it has a moonroof <laughs> and a roof rack with cross rails. It does have a couple of minor little chip there. This wheel is pretty nice. Very minor bubbling there. Most people wouldn't even notice that, but I'm kind of picky, so. This one does have the tow package with the seven pin connector. It is a V8 model as well. It does have a scratch on the rear gate right here. So, if you can feel it with your fingernail, it's usually too deep to buff, so. There's a little scratch back here too. That one's too deep as well, but it's kind of lower on the bumper. This wheel's in nice shape. Tread depth on the tires, another angle. You will get some minor hairline scratches here and there. This one has, what, 147,000 miles on it? Just broken in for a 4Runner. This is the most desirable generation, the 4th gen. In my experience I could be wrong I'm not a pro I'm not a uh, <laughs> expert all right so show you underside here looks pretty good interiors in good shape no uh, no funky smells or anything dual power seats power windows power locks this entry of course this one has remote start as well see another spot the rust is kind of down in this area I don't see any there I don't see any on this dog leg either back seats in nice shape this one does have the uh, the rear cargo tray this thing um, folds up Let's see if I can do it and then latches in right there so you can put stuff underneath it so it's got a cargo mat, it's got all the netting. There's a net that goes in the back here too that you can see in the pictures online. And then there's this car cargo cover to cover up your stuff in the back. All of these have a soft closed rear gate, so you just shut it and it pulls itself shut. I'll show you under the back here. Rear axle, spare tire, all that stuff. Pretty nice.
driver's seat has some very minor wear on the side here. I'm probably going to actually get that fixed. Uh, my interior guy's coming this week, so you won't even be able to tell that's there, probably. If you come to look at it, I'll hop in here and start it up. One forty-seven, three forty-two for miles. It's rocking out, taking pictures. No lights on the dash because it's been fully serviced, fully inspected. It has uh, electrochromatic auto dimming mirror with uh, compass, home link garage garage door opener, so you can universal garage door opener to hook up to your home garage door. Roof works as it should. For time of video, I'm not going to open that all the way. Automatic climate control so you can change the passenger and driver temp. This one also has the navigation head unit, also has the JBL audio system uh, with the sub in the back. It's got a great, it's got a great stereo. I was just listening to it before uh, when I was taking pictures. So, full time four wheel drive because it's a V8 model. We shall see. You can see the rear uh, window goes down and up as it should. And then this one does have remote start as I mentioned, it's on here. Uh, looks like this one's Bluetooth equipped as well. Oh, I forgot to mention, backup camera. Pretty important for a lot of people nowadays. I personally never use one, but some people do. So, automatic headlamps with fog lamps. Let's see, over here we've got a T-case lock. Uh, it has seat memory, so you can set the memory of the seat where you want it for two different people. Power windows, power locks, all that stuff. Um, this one has an, uh, does have a AUX port in here, and then it has a 115 volt outlet you can plug in. Like you know, I don't know. We don't really have gaming systems or anything anymore. We usually have iPads on the back for kids, but. That would be to plug in a gaming system or a TV or whatever, so that's what this AC 115 volt is, so. Um, I will open the hood and show you underneath. You can see the dash is in good shape on this one too, a lot of times they get cracking. This one is super nice. So, very, very well maintained truck. Original window sticker was in the uh, glove box. Now my phone does pick up small engine and valve train noise. So it might sound more ticky than it would in person. For some reason it picks up like you know, weird noises that the human ear doesn't. So runs good, looks pretty clean under here. You usually can tell a lot uh, by one of these forerunners with the bolts and stuff up here, how rusty they are. It sounds pretty decently clean. Do like the fender well areas are decently clean as well. So this one did add the timing belt on. It's got 147 on it. We're trying at 123. So that's not due till 223 now. So that is the 2006 Forerunner V8. If you have any questions, give us a call 952-540-9000. Thanks for your time. Have a great day.